Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter and bienvenidos to my kitchen where I'll be teaching you to cook for charity. Before I start this video, I gotta give a huge thank you to Nintendo for sending me Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Hyrule Warriors is one of my favorite games of the Wii U, but I never played the 3DS version, so I missed out on a lot of those features. However, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition changes all that. It includes all the features, content, characters, maps, DLC from the first two games into one nice package where I can play anywhere on the go with a Nintendo Switch. What's not to love at playing as your favorite Zelda heroes and villains and hacking down a bunch of enemies in the land of Hyrule anywhere you want? I absolutely love these warrior games. One of those features I missed out on is having a fairy companion where you can take into battle, dress up, and feed. And one of those things you can feed it is Chateau Romani, but don't feed your fairy too much Chateau Romani, you might get a little drunk. Chateau Romani was the first episode of Cuckoo's Kitchen, so I want to do something different. I want to port over the old recipe into something new. A brand new recipe that tastes even more delicious, a more definitive edition of Chateau Romani. Because that old video is absolutely terrible, don't go back and watch it. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're making a brand new version of Chateau Romani. A better tasting version of Chateau Romani. And like I said, a definitive version of Chateau Romani. So without further ado, guys, let's get cooking. Well, let's get mixing, because we're making a cocktail. The ingredients you're going to need for this cocktail is 1 cup of ice, 2 tablespoons of cinnamon sugar, maple syrup, 1 ounce of vanilla bourbon, a third cup of milk, 1 cinnamon stick, a cup of water, a cup of sugar, 1 tablespoon of cinnamon, 1 ounce of baileys, and 1 tablespoon of nutmeg. In a small saucepan on medium-high heat, add in your water, sugar, and 1 tablespoon of cinnamon. Constantly stir and bring to a boil. Once it boils, remove from heat and keep on stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved. Set aside to cool. In a small plate, add a little bit of maple syrup to coat the top of the glass or bottle you will use to drink out of. And on a second plate, add the cinnamon sugar to coat the top of the glass or bottle until the rim is completely covered with cinnamon sugar. In a cocktail mixer, add in your ice, milk, baileys, vanilla bourbon, and the simple cinnamon sugar that is cooled. And shake until the mixer gets nice and frosty. Once it's ready, pour the mix into a bottle or glass and add nutmeg. Stir with the cinnamon stick and leave inside. Your Chateau Romani is ready. Now here's my favorite part of the video, we get to taste what we just made, so if you don't mind me, I'm going to take a nice swig of some Chateau Romani. Bottoms up. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's like heaven in a bottle. It's perfection. Oh man, you are going to fall in love with these. Let's talk about that flavor. Most importantly, you're going to get milk, because it's a milk-based cocktail. You know, that sweetness with that simple syrup. And that cinnamon sugar, it's not too sweet, but both thing around the edge and the simple syrup inside of it has that nice balance. It makes it a nice, relaxing, and enjoyable, kind of a dessert drink or to cool off because it's nice and cold with those ice cubes. You get a little bit of hints of that Bailey's, that vanilla, and that bourbon hits you as soon as it goes down. It's a symphony in your mouth that is so good. It is so cold, so delicious. If it's a hot summer day and you're like, oh, I'm pooped. I don't want to do this. I need some magic meter stuff. Pop a few of these Chateau Romanis and just don't operate any heavy machinery drive with you know, fine airplane. There's a little alcohol in there, you know, we do a discretion is advised. But most importantly, it has a beautiful symphony of flavor. You're gonna fall in love with these and it goes down so smooth. You don't get that big, strong taste. It's nice and smooth. They go down so easily, so fast. You're gonna go to your mill bar man and be like, hey, here's 200 rupees. Give me another two on Chateau Romani, you know what I mean? But. I have a few young links out there who watch my videos and I don't think you can just put a Romani mask and run into a bar and be like, hey bartender, give me some of that Chateau Romani because they'll, they'll probably kick you out. So, I'm going to do next is a non-alcoholic version of Chateau Romani. Even without the alcohol, it's still going to taste great and you can enjoy it at any age. Even if you don't even drink at all and you want to enjoy this, if you're old enough and you're not a fan of alcohol, you can still make a non-alcoholic Chateau Romani that you can enjoy. So without further ado, let's get mixing for that. The ingredients you're going to need for the non-alcoholic Chateau Romani follow as 1 cup of water, 1 cup of sugar, and 1 tablespoon of cinnamon if you didn't make the simple syrup already, 1 cup of ice, 2 tablespoons of cinnamon sugar, maple syrup just to coat the plate, but 1 ounce of maple syrup for the drink, 1 ounce of vanilla, a third cup of milk, 1 cinnamon stick, 1 ounce of half and half, and 1 tablespoon of nutmeg. Coat the bottle or glass you're going to drink out of with maple syrup and then dip it in cinnamon sugar to coat the rim. In a cocktail mixer, add in your ice. 
milk, simple cinnamon syrup, maple syrup, half and half, vanilla, and shake till your mixture gets nice and frosty. Pour the mix into a bottle or glass and add nutmeg and stir with a cinnamon stick and leave inside. For all the young links out there who enjoy my content, cheers. This one's for you. So, bottoms up. Mm. Even before you strip it down, that flavor hits your tongue. It's so good. Mm. You don't need alcohol in there to enjoy a good Chateau Romani. Let's talk about that flavor. Most importantly, you're trying to get the closest thing to the alcoholic version. You don't have that bourbon in there, so we put that vanilla to substitute it in there. And Old Bailey's, we put that half and half in there to make it a little bit thicker. But then you have that little maple syrup in there with the uh, simple syrup. Makes it a little bit more sweeter, but it's also so good. It, it's not too sweet. These drinks are perfect. They are absolutely great for a nice summertime day, summertime night, or whatever you need to do to fill up your magic meter. Young or old, you're gonna love Chateau Romani, with the alcohol or not with the alcohol. I highly recommend you make these drinks because you're gonna fall in love with them. I think they're much better than the first version I did. Guys, take it from me, you, you know me. You, you see me all the time go, ooh and ahs. When I tell you when it's good, it's good. So why don't you get yourself mixing and make some Chateau Romani. Once again, my compadres and mistress, thank you so much for watching this video. Like us in the past, when you watch these videos, money is made. That money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds I make in my videos. Everything goes to charity. So please, guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure to share it on the socials. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you use. It really, really helps me out. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and comment below what you would like to see next on Cuckoo's Kitchen, be it from your favorite anime or video game, and what else you would like to see on the show that I can improve on. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike and tell me why. I also love reading constructive criticism. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I really, really wanted to get a new version of Chateau Romani out for the longest time, and Hyrule Warriors was the perfect way to give me that motivation. Next week, we have that salmon. We have that salmon munier for Breath of the Wild. I have those salmon steaks right here. Look at this. Look at this. Let me get it. Where is it? Somewhere in this monstrous fridge. Look at that. Right here. Salmon steaks. Finally, I drove all over this damn state of Florida. But I finally found one fish market that sold me salmon steaks. So I'm going to get cooking on that and we're going to have that Breath of the Wild recipe out there. You guys are going to fall in love. I also have maybe some Animal Crossing recipes coming up. If not, I have an Animal Crossing video ready before E3. And some other news, I'll be going to E3. So if there's Animal Crossing news there, I'm going to be your guy there. Everyone's going to be playing Smash Brothers, you know, eSports, baby. But we all know that Animal Crossing is the true king. And I'm going to make sure I get you those stuff out there. So if you're a fan of Animal Crossing, a fan of Cuckoo's Kitchen, don't worry. I have a lot stored in for you guys. But as always, thank you for being loyal. Thank you for enjoying these videos. Thank you for sharing it. You guys give me so many great opportunities. And next week, I'm going to talk about those opportunities. Because you guys, I have a project to unveil. You've probably seen it already on my Twitter. If not, go check it out. But I'm saving the surprise for these, for these salmon steaks. Because it's going to be a marvelous thing to do, finally. Having this thing out and making some salmon for you guys. So... Thank you guys, as always. I will see you guys next week with this video. And as always, stay sexy. Adios.